hell are you? What you cooking? Same thing I've been cooking the past 15 years with the hope of poisoning you. Ain't working so well. <laughs> Not yet. To be honest, though, tastes bad enough to kill a man. I never was much of a cook, but I did try to be a good wife. And you have been. <laughs> Given what we was and what we came from, I think we've gone and done OK. I look at Jack. I look at him, and I think we've been blessed. Maybe he can be something more. He's a good kid. He can be whatever he wants to be. He ain't gonna be no frontier gunslinger killing and running those gang, though. <laughs> that way's over. Railroads and government and motor cars and everything gone and done away with all that. And he ain't gonna marry no orphaned working girl running with a bunch of hucksters, neither. If he meets one like you, I hope he'll marry her. <laughs> Stop. For an illiterate gunslinger, you sure know how to make a girl blush. <laughs> God damn, Crows! John! You have got to go deal with them? They've broken into the silo again and are eating all the corn out from it. Of course, my angel. Wait. Get out of there! All right, all right. Go on! Scat! Now about that stew. John, we got a telegram from some lady friend of yours, a Bonnie something or other. Something you ain't telling me? Bonnie McFarland. She's a friend. Mm. Saved my life when I went after Bill and nearly got myself killed again. Oh, and now you two's in the habit of sending each other letters. How very nice. It weren't nothing like that. What's it say? I don't know. I can't. Well, you know I can't read. Give it here. You read that thing out loud. I ain't hiding nothing. Dear Mr. Marston, stop. Need corn sacks, stop. Emergency, stop. Weevils and moths ate entire county supply, stop. Can you help? Not exactly the most romantic request now, is it? I guess not. And she saved your life, you say? Yes, ma'am. Well, then you're gonna have to help her and her family out. We've got a plentiful supply of corn sacks over near the silo. Oh, by the one thing Uncle didn't manage to have stolen while we was gone. Okay. Hurry back, John. And John, 
What's she like? Uh, you know, a little bit like you, I guess. She's a woman in a man's world. Maybe I should meet this McFarlane woman. Well, come on then. Let's get going. I don't think I can let you go off again without me. Fair enough. I'm glad of the company. You only had to ask. Ask? I was waiting for you to ask me. I thought you'd want to keep an eye on the boy. Oh, while well, you were off supporting with cowgirls in the next county? I don't think so, John Marston. You only just got home. That Jack has seen enough of me for a lifetime. So, is she married? This phony McFarland? No. What does she look like? I don't know. Pretty normal, I suppose. Normal? What? Normal like me? No. Normal as in two eyes, mouth, nose, that kind of woman. Besides, ain't no woman fine as you. A little flattery. Now we're finally getting somewhere. If you find yourself in a hole, First thing to do is stop Dick. Another pearl of wisdom from John Marston. I sure do miss those. I never took you for the jealous type, Abigail. I ain't jealous so much as curious. You heard what she wrote. It's just some corn. She saved my life and she was decent enough to me, so I owe her this much at least. How did she save your life anyway? She found me half dead on the side of the road and took me to the doctor. Most folks would have left me there. Half dead from what? Bill didn't take so kindly to me visiting unannounced. Bill never did like surprises. How was he? Same as he was when we left. Angry and dumb. Taking his revenge out on the world. He was down there was really scared of him. Of Bill? You gotta be kidding me. He was only frightening if he was afraid of dumb fools. Bill weren't so bad, but... Dutch went crazy. Bill took it hard. For a while, we all thought we'd found something right. Better way to live, but it was just a lie. So you saw before they did. Maybe. But they was still kind of a family. A family that left you for dead. You knew the truth, John. And they hated you for it. Where did they take you? Who? Those government bastards. Where did they hold you and Jack? I ain't sure. They kept their eyes covered there and back. Can't have been too far from here, though. They treat you right? It ain't the first time I've had a gun to my head, John. You're forgetting your marriage proposal. Very fun. So, they learned pretty quick what would happen if they laid a finger on me. Sons of bitches. It wasn't them or being there. I didn't care about that. I've been in far worse situations. It was the waiting. I didn't know if you was coming back. Why are you stopping? Of course I was coming back. You were only supposed to be gone for a couple of days. It took longer than I thought. The only thing Bill and Dutch was ever any good at was not getting caught. Can't you get those horses going any faster? I started thinking you'd gone back to them. You came. Thank you so much. We lost the entire harvest. Miss McFarland, I'd like you to meet my wife. Abigail. Oh, ain't you quite the gentleman all of a sudden. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Marston. Likewise. Thank you for saving my husband's life. And for teaching the miserable goat some manners, among other things. I didn't teach him anything. I know better than to try to change a man. You should meet my father. Oh, people can change, Miss McFarlane. John and I have to believe that more than anybody. This is a decent first harvest for you, John. You should be proud. That's good land you got there. How are you feeling, Mrs. Marston? From what your husband told me, it must have been awful for you. I've been through worse, and I knew he'd be back before too long. He can't cook a meal to save his life. Abigail, in my darkest hours, when I was most homesick, just the thought of one of your rat meat stews kept me pushing forward. Well, about as amusing as a weeping saddle sore, ain't he, Mr. Farland? If you're gonna start yammering about women's work, John, I'd say you might be in the wrong company. I'd say so, too. I never felt so outnumbered.
Abraham. Day, John. I guess I better go fix us something to eat.
What's the book, boy? Uh, nothing, sir. What's it about? Well, it's an adventure, sir. Um, set out in the West, and it tells this amazing story of how people killed the savage Redskins, and how this man, this brave man, hunts the man who killed his father. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Talking of adventure, how'd you like to learn to track elk? Really big ones in the valley this time of year. We could use the meat. Well, I... Uh, I know you'd rather read your adventures. Trust me, this can be very enjoyable in its own way. I suppose maybe it's a little less dramatic. <laughs> so, let's go, come on. You may get to see me get gored by some massive wild beast. Then you can write a story about that. Very funny, Paul. <laughs> I've forgotten how funny you was. Grab your things. Shouldn't we be going? All right, now stay close to the dog, son. Let's go. When he finds something, you stay back and I'll show you how to make a kill. Whatever you say, sir. Hey, whoa, whoa. You sure you're ready for this? I guess so. Now, the trick to hunting is calm and patience. You gotta think and move like an animal to catch an animal. A rifle helps, doesn't it? Elk don't stand still, son. Well, I wouldn't know. This is the first time you've taken me hunting. There's lots of things I ain't done with you, but I'm gonna try and make up for that. Slow it up now. You don't seem too excited about this. What do you want me to say, Paul? Yippee! Are you sure you're all right? I mean, I know all that business must have been hard on you. It wasn't nothing. I'm not a kid anymore. Well, it won't happen again. It's over. Until the next time, you mean? Look, he's picked up a scent. Come on. There won't be a next time. Don't make no more promises, Ma. I've heard them all before. You know, one time I hunted a bear up in tall trees. You never seen a bigger animal in all your life. I read this story about a girl who was raised by wolves. And she'd hunt goats with them and everything. Sounds like a tall yarn to me. It's taller than a boy being taken from his home and locked up in a dungeon. I'm just saying. Maybe you spend too much time with your head in those books. Look, I see one. Yeah, I see it. This one's mine. Stay with me, son. Next one. Rufus looks like he's gonna find something. Yeah. Go find him, Rufus. Easy. Go on, Rufus. Slow down. You can do it, Rufus. Oh, he's found another one. Come on, easy up now. There they are. Come on, get him this time. Don't you worry, son. This one ain't getting away. Go on, Paul. Get him. You can do this. 
Slow up. Get him. I got two. Show you how to cut the meat. Come! I thought he was gonna get away. That was great, huh? You just gotta wait for the right shot. Not rushing. Woo! That's a big one. This meat should fetch a decent price in Manzanita. Hey, watch it! Last still. <laughs> Hope you were watching. It'll be your turn next. Shouldn't we be going? All right. Let's see if we can find some more. You can do it, Rufus. Come on. You ready to take a shot, Jack? Of course, Bob. Remember, it's all about timing. Wait for your moment. Don't snatch it. I know, yet. I know. I saw how you did it. Come on. There they are. Jack, come on. Come on! Go! Cut the meat, Jack. Now it's your turn. Hey, come on! Nice work, son. You're a quick learner. Now come on. Let's get this meat over to the trading post at Manzanita. Yeah. Did you see me? You did good, son. Can we shoot some more? Only kill what you need. We'll go out again soon. You know, I didn't think I was gonna like it. I told you you'd have fun, didn't I? Here we are. Jack, you wait here. I'll be just a moment. Hope you like it. Howdy, mister. Well, let's see what you got. Yeah, you're all set. Well, that's all I got for you this time. See what we can do for you. My mother passed not long ago. Gone to a rest, I guess. 
I hope you enjoy a smooth ride. That's all I got for you right now. All done. Let's head home. Mark, good to see you. out of the stewing pot for a couple days. And what about me? What do I get? You get to eat, son. But I did half the work. That isn't fair. What can I say? I'm another corrupt landowner. I'll be rich one day, then you'll see. I sure hope so. And you can look after us when we get old. What do you mean, get old? You are old. We ain't old. Uncle's old. Well, he should be in a museum. Yeah. Preserved in whiskey for the next thousand years. So, you enjoy your first hunting trip? It was great, Paul. Herding cows, hunting elk, growing up. Proud of it. I always told you I wanted to help. You know, you and me, we work hard. We can make something of this farm. I'd like that. And thank you for looking after your mother. She said you were very brave. I tried to be strong, like you told me. But Ma, uh, she can look after herself. She soon put those fellas in their place. I can only imagine. Come on. Come on. Easy. Oh, Pa, that was so much fun. I can't rightly believe it. Just like in the books. We'll do it again soon. Now get to your chores.
tensing up. I'm not. You are. Your back's tense and it's making the rifle jump. You're holding it wrong. Here, let me show you. I don't need you to show me, Paul. I guess not. No, show me and you'll just, you'll just run off again or something. It's better I teach myself. I ain't going nowhere. Whatever you say, Paul. Don't be like that. Sorry. Wolves been after the herd. Got to get out there and scare them off. You want to come with me? Safer with two. Okay. Soon sniff them out. Let's go. I can shoot. You know that. Why you gotta treat me like a kid? That's what fathers do. I'm just trying to look out for it. You can't just decide to be a father when it suits you. What about the rest of the time? Come on, Jack. That ain't exactly fair. One minute you're telling me to be a man. Look out! The next you're telling me I'm just a boy. It's gonna take a while for things to get back to normal. Normal? Was it ever normal? I'm sorry, Paul. You don't need to be. I don't mean to be moody. I'm glad you're home. I really am. It's just every time you go off, well, I worry you're not coming back. I swear, if it was down to me, I'd never have gone anywhere. They can't make you, can they? It's complicated, but it seems they can't. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't understand. Just some things you start have to be finished. What was your father like? I didn't really know him. He died when I was just a boy. Died of what? Why do you want to know? Well, it just sounds like a good story, that's all. It really ain't. He died in a bar fight. At least, that's what they told me. Come on, he's picked up a scent. Stay on me now. Yeah. Paul, is Uncle really your uncle? No, at least I sincerely hope not. He's probably lots of people's father, though. Well, why'd he call him Uncle then? Folks always did. Probably because he's always been older than everybody else. He was old when I was a kid. He was old when I was a kid, son. God must have had some purpose for keeping him on this earth. I sure as hell don't know what that is. Come on, boy. Go find him, Rufus. Look, son, he sniffed him out. There you go. Come. Keep your wits about you. Those wolves ain't afraid to defend themselves. Let's go. Don't give up now. Get up from that. Work, son. Go on now, Rufus. Find the rest of them. What are you doing? We got them good, Paul. That ain't all the pack. There's got to be more around here. This is much more fun than hunting elk. It's always more fun killing something you don't like. Are you gonna mount back up, Paul? Yeah. Easy. Get after him, boy. Come on, boy. Come on, easy up now. Where are they, Rufus? Get after him, boy. Yeah.
Good boy. Come on. Go get him, boy. That's it, boy. Come on. You can find him, Rufus. Wolves, I see him. Come on! We can't stop now! Down you come! They're attacking! Got them down! So, keep your head straight! Remember what I told you! Nice work, Jack. I thought we needed the horses. All right, we should head back now. We got out further than I thought. Slow down. How many did we get? I don't think I've got out for a while. That was some good shooting, son. So can I go out and hunt by myself now? Hold on there, cowboy. You ain't ready for that yet. One step at a time. Oh, please, Bob. We'll go out again soon. Get something nice for your mother, cook. I reckon I could kill a bear, no problem. I ain't gonna tell you again, Jack. You don't leave the farm without checking with me first, you hear? Uh, yes, sir, I hear you. There you go. Let's go. Oh, can I ask you something? Of course. Were you a murderer? What? That place where they held us. I shouted at a guard one time, and he yelled that you were a murderer. Maybe. But I live my life believing there's a difference between killing and murdering. Not for the person who's dead. No. And I guess I've been both. That's how it goes. We all do what we have to to survive. And sometimes it ain't pretty. And in the end, we pay the price for what we did. Like those rustlers who attacked our cattle? Exactly. Look, when I was a kid, things were different. Rules were different, but that's over now. <laughs> All we did was kill a few wolves. Well, I read a book about a brother and son who robbed a bank. What arm was it? That was his name. I'm happy with my two arms, if you don't mind. Just imagine it, though. John and Jack Marks. Those were the men in the wind. And what about your mom? Well, I mean, we still come home. You live in a dream world. It ain't like they tell it in books. And it ain't no way to live life. It was ugly and brutal. All right, jeez. I was only joking around. You'll have a farm of your own. You can read and write. Don't waste your life, son. Don't live like I had to. Come on. You're turned into a decent hunter, son. But try to stay out of trouble.
are you, son? John! John! What is it, old man? It's Jack. The kid. The kid. Well, I just saw him out in the valley. Seems your tail's a hunting got the better of him. He said he was going up to the pass, track down that grizzly that's been seen up there. Kid can't hunt a grizzly. Thing will eat him alive. I know. I tried to stop him. But you're worthless as a lawyer at a lynch. Damn you, old man. This is my son. Anything happens to him, you wish it was you that bear attacked. Jack, stay down! 
Keep your head down! What the hell were you thinking going off on your own? You're just a boy. No, I'm not. I can skin an elk, break horses. Come on, let's get you home. Tight. You all right? Yeah, I think so. You're lucky to be alive, you stupid boy. What did I tell you about going off by yourself? I go off by myself plenty. You just don't know about it. You're never around. So this is my fault? You disobeyed me. I was trying to prove myself. Prove what? By getting yourself killed? You're always telling me I read too many books, that I'm not a real man. I never said that. I just thought if I could do something you'd like, maybe you wouldn't go away again. Son, I ain't going anywhere. And believe me, neither are you for a real long time. What's your mother gonna say? I'm sorry, Paul. Please don't be angry. I ain't angry. I'm disappointed. Don't you ever run off on your own like that again. All right, all right. I told you I was sorry. What would have happened if I hadn't come along? I don't know. I'd probably be dead. You'd be a pile of bones right now. What would you care? I'm just a nuisance to you anyway. That ain't true, Jack. I'd do anything for you. You know that. I guess there's only room for one hero in this family. Trust me, son. I ain't no hero. I'm just glad you're safe. After a grizzly? What were you thinking? You've only been hunting twice. I'm not a little kid anymore. What were you doing at my age? Bad thing. Things nobody should do. But your mom and me, we didn't have what you had. Yeah, yeah, I know. I should be grateful. I'm not asking you to be grateful. I'm asking you to do what I say before you get yourself killed. It's always one set of rules for you and another set for everybody else. You think I don't know what you did back in the old days? I'm not stupid. You could have fooled me. You think I didn't sit up and listen to Dutch and Bill telling all those stories? You think I don't know who you are? It ain't no secret I didn't get these scars falling over at church. But nobody tells me anything. You and Ma pretend like nothing happened. We just want a better life for you, son. Now rest. We'll have you home soon. I'm sorry I made you worry, Paul. Don't be too eager to grow up, son. Ain't as much fun as it looks. When you're ready to hunt bears, I'll take you.
Get up, old man. I, I am up. Get up! Oh. Oh. There, I'm up. Well, thank the good Lord you're back. Nothing worse for an old man than sleeping in the warm afternoon sun. You want a long sleep, Uncle? That can be arranged. It'll cost me less than food. You always was a hard and nasty man, John Marston. You always was a useless, conniving thief. And where's them cattle? Did you take them to pasture? It's coming around to that. When, exactly? It's easy to pick on the elderly. It's easy, but it ain't dignified. Come on, old man. We'll do this together. Move them out!
Look after the herd. I'll ride back. No thanks. You got your pound of flesh from me today. What are you looking at, old man? There's some Mustangs and some such out there beyond that ridge. Wondering if it was worth getting you and going around some of them up. Fair enough. We're nearly out of money. Ranch is in turmoil. We may not make it through the winter. What could we possibly want with some good quality horses? Come on. That tone of voice ain't so becoming on you. Makes you seem all pent up and angry like some black water would be business tycoon with a bad case of hemorrhoids. I'll give you a bad case if someone just shot me in the head if you don't hurry up. Are you gonna mount up, kid? Forbid I do anything around here without checking with his royal highness first. Yeah, you're real good at watching. That's about all you're good for, apart from bending your elbow. I can't do right for doing wrong. You're an ungrateful bastard, you know. I did my best when you was gone. Your best is like anybody else's worst. Come on, I'm getting old. I gotta start taking things easy. I see him.
Let's go! I think that's enough for now. Let's get him back to the rail. Yeah. That weren't half bad for a couple of old reprobates. I learned a few things while I was away. Anything you wanted to know, you only had to ask. You? What the hell do you know about any of this? I was a rancher myself back in the day. Firstly, I don't believe you. And secondly, if you was, why have you been hiding it all these years? You act like I never do anything. I do plenty. You're asleep half the day, and the other half you're so drunk you couldn't hit the ground with your hat in three throws. I've taught you a few things, John Marston. Like how to steal beer when the bartender's not looking, and piss without taking down your pants. All useful skills, partner. Get up now. Look at these here horses. Fine as cream gravy. It sure will be nice to have some money in our pocket. Any money we make is going straight back into this ranch, not down your gullet. Oh, come on. I ain't working for free here. You ain't working at all. That's the problem, old man. What about today and all them cattle I heard? I'm always sucking hind kid around here. You got food in your belly, ain't you? A roof over your head? Whoa. There you go. Make sure there's enough fresh hay. We need to keep them strong. All right. Damn, a little gratitude wouldn't kill you. Not a bad day's work.
Hey, Jack. Hey, Paul. Need a hand with that? Um, no, sir, I got it. Looks like you have. You know, you're real good with them tools. Thank you, Paul. You'll make this land real nice one day. Me and your mother will do our part. By the time your turn comes, hell, this could be the nicest farm in the county. Maybe, Paul. Just gotta learn to shoot straight or you'll get yourself eaten by some animal. Very funny, Paul. Thank you, son. Soon it'll be quail season. We should have some fun then. Is there anything you don't like shooting, Paul? Well, I ain't met the thing yet, but as soon as I do, I'll let you know. You can even put it in one of them books you read. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I'll do that. Today, John Marston stopped shooting. Now, I ain't no literary man, but I don't think that'll sell. People like shooting in them things. I think you may be right there, Paul. So, uh, you ever hear talk about them machines that can make a man fly? Well, sure, Paul. Everybody knows about that. You know they're gonna be bringing one of those machines around the country next year for a demonstration? One of them machines can turn men into angels. One of them machines can turn men into angels. John! Come here! John, come here, quick! Take a look at that. Jack, go into the house, lock all the doors. Whatever happens, don't come outside, you hear me? Whatever happens. Okay. Come here, son. Whatever happens, keep the doors locked and your mother inside. Promise me, son. Promise me. Who is it, Paul? It's just some old friends. Me and Uncle take care of it. And you go inside and you keep the doors and the windows locked. I hear you. Then run! Yeah, run, boy. Well, old man, looks like things is about to get settled once and for all. So it seems. Oh, my good God! You best get that gun ready, old man. out here. What are we gonna do now? What's wrong? What's happened? Stay inside, you hear? Like I said, there'll be more coming. Paul, what do they want? I don't know, son. Whatever it is, it oh. ends here. Oh, look how many there are. They're gonna kill us, aren't they? No, I ain't gonna let that happen. Government. Whoa! Uncle, are you all right? Damn it! I'm hit. Quick, this way. Stay away from my family. I'll kill all you stupid bitches. I did what you wanted. 
Hang in there, Uncle! I'm gonna get you out of here safe! Ain't time, John. I ain't gonna make it off this porch anyhow. You take Jack and Abby. <coughs> take them and... <coughs> Don't worry about me. Just get them out of here. No! Uncle, please! Oh, my God! They killed him! Come on, son. Ain't nothing we can do for him now. We're leaving the farm. I'll watch from the silo. You two go to the barn. Get the horses ready. John! I'll meet you there. Keep your eyes open. I see him. Get behind something. I'll handle him. You two watch yourself. You gotta pay for this. Come on. Keep it up. It's gonna be fun. Listen, Jack, Narlin, get on this horse. Get out of here. Go find a place to hide. You're coming with us, Paul. I'll catch up. You keep riding and don't look back. And don't be worried about me, you hear? Now get going. You stay out of trouble, John. Ain't no trouble, Abigail. Ain't no trouble. I love you. I love you. Now go. Get! <laughs>
We have to go back for Pa. Let's go! Sky on the lone prairie. 